Well, hello, my beautiful people. I hope all you guys are having an awesome, fantastic day. We are here at Epcot because there's a brand new festival of the year 2020, Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. So let's not waste any time. We have a lot of food to eat, new merchandise. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. Before we get started, I wanted to show you guys half of the new Epcot front entrance. Here's Goofy's new location. Oh yes, it's time for a new annual pass holder magnet. Disney has definitely moved things around for this year's Festival of the Arts. There's the new temporary mouse gear. Also, here's Daisy's new pop-up location. Hi, Daisy! There's a little bit of a line, but nothing crazy. I love the color. Here's a quick look at this year's merchandise. Of course, we have Minnie Mouse ears. Here is the spirit jersey. I do love the colors. And then the back. Really cool. A water tumbler. Cool. And reusable straws. I'm happy to finally see these straws in the parks. Comes with like a little cleaner. Has pigment on it. Epcot. It's a t-shirt. A bag. That's interesting. Looks like a ornament. A figment plush. Nice little figment. Phone cases. Pretty cool. And then another t-shirt design. And then a coffee mug. I actually like that a lot. Cool. And then I believe a magnet. But I love the new temporary mouse gear. I mean, it's a lot smaller than what we're used to, but they'll definitely do. Also this year, they have an annual pass holder hat and a phone case. Okay, this is the first time I am seeing every single piece of Baby Yoda merchandise available. The long sleeve, the regular shirt, which I just got, another long sleeve, they have hats, and oh my gosh, look at this. It's so cute. Okay, Disney, take all of my money. They also have a sweatshirt. Wow. Also a little kid's t-shirt. They also have plenty of the child spirit jerseys. And as I'm leaving, I'm seeing another t-shirt design and I love this a lot. Okay, I may have to buy this one. We come to Epcot to look at the new festival merchandise, but yet we're walking out with Mandalorian and Baby Yoda merchandise. <laughs> Here is what the Magic Band looks like this year. Pretty cool. And then the pen. Nice. I quickly wanted to show you guys the new Starbucks reusable cups. Has all four of the Walt Disney World parks on there. It's going for $24.99. I kind of want it. And then the new Epcot You Are Here mug. They have moved everything around this year due to all of the construction that's going on here in Epcot. And this is what it will look like when it's all done. We still have a long way to go. Here's a look at some 3D art. That is really cool. Minnie Mouse also has a new location. When you guys come here to Festival of the Arts, be sure to pick up your passport. This will tell you where everything is located throughout the World Showcase to eat and drink. And it's also a free souvenir for the whole family because it comes with stickers. And this will track your eating and you want to complete all of them. It's just a really fun game and it's free. Also, be sure to pick up your Disney gift card. Another thing you have to love about this event is all the artwork. And here's the artist right here. I love your artwork, man. That's awesome. Yeah, of course. You also have the amazing photo pass opportunities spread it throughout World Showcase. Another really cool thing about Festival of the Arts is you have Disney on Broadway. Every single night, they will have a Broadway show on the stage. I highly recommend you guys check this out. I hear there's some new sake in Japan. Let's go try it. It's called Ringo Punch. It is a plum wine, sake, peach, schnapps, apple, and pear. Here we are, the Ringo Punch. This thing looks delicious, a good size. Let's give it a quick try. Wow, that is delicious. I don't taste the sake, so that's a dangerous drink, but absolutely 10 out of 10. I love all of the artwork. I want to buy every single one and take them home. There's Paige, the voice of Belle. Oh, way cool. This is new this year. They make t-shirts and hoodies and flannels. They did bring back the deconstructed booth, which I like everything on the menu. I got to try each of these last year. Of course, the cheesecake is really good. 
and the Reuben. Whoa, this menu looks delicious. This is new this year. They have a purple sweet potato mousse, a chocolate peanut butter pretzel crunch, a lemon tart. Oh yeah, painter's chocolate chip cookie thing came back this year. Had that last year, it was really good. Oh my, where did Starbucks and Club Cool go? It's all gone. They are not wasting any time. I ran into some friends, you guys know the traveling husbands, but also Chris, TDR Explorer, who helped plan everything Tokyo Disneyland. Go check them out. I'll leave their videos down in the description. They're just now getting here, so I'm gonna let them take the wheel. Sorry. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you guys are looking to book your next Walt Disney World vacation, be sure to go visit my friends over at MickeyTravels.com as they never charge anything to book your next Walt Disney World vacation. And they are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description, click on their link for your next trip to Walt Disney World. I went home for a few hours, relax, changed clothes, and now I'm back here at Epcot. Let's talk about some of the menu items I'm seeing at this year's festival. I'm seeing a lot of returning items, and there's nothing wrong with that because as fans, we like to see when items are brought back to the next festival the next year. However, menus are just not impressing me this year. It's just simple. Now there's a few new items which I am eager to try and I hope to try it tonight. And if I don't get to try it tonight, we'll definitely be back. Next up, we're here at the Masterpiece Kitchen. We are here to try the brand new treat, vanilla, rose water, and pistachio. Panna cotta? I don't know, but it looks good and it's all over Instagram. Here we are. We have the panna cotta. I also got the mushroom risotto. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, mm, so good, so savory. I want an entire plate of that. That is delicious. I don't know how I feel about it. I like pistachio. Oh wow. It tastes like a flower. Oh, it like has a shell on it. I didn't realize that, I just cracked. Huh. I don't know how I feel. I mean, it's not bad, it's not great. Mm, it's the rose water. It is really good. It's creamy too. It's very well at, at the end you taste the pistachio a little bit more and that's oh, yeah. what I like but I don't think I'll get it again right now. It may change but right now I would not get that again. Next up we're here at the Painted Panda here in China. I want to try the pork bun. This looks very delicious. I am super excited to try this. Looks very similar to something I had over in Tokyo Disneyland. Here at the Good Time Cafe there it is. Roasted chicken on a Chinese bun with an egg. Let's give it a try. That was delicious. I highly recommend you guys come check this out. Very good, 10 out of 10. Check this out at Joffrey's. They have a specialty. It's like coffee with a donut on top, whipped cream. Interesting. Mine's a little long, so it must be good. I know it's dark, but Disney installed the Ratatouille attraction sign the other day. I'll find a picture and I'll post it right here but it makes me excited because it's almost here. We don't have that much longer before this attraction opens up. I just got home from Epcot. The crowds were starting to be a little bit too much for me. It is a Friday night and it is opening day of Festival of the Arts. But before I give you guys my full review, we have three new shows in Epcot. Awesome Planet with Living with the Land. Number two, Beauty and the Beast in France. And number three, we have a brand new O Canada show I have not seen any of the three shows. I do plan to go back another day, watch them. From everything I've been seeing and hearing, I'm not really missing too much. So I'm not really that motivated to go over there and watch it. But you guys know me, I love Epcot, and we still have a lot more Festival of the Arts to do. As far as what I tried today at the opening day of Festival of the Arts, definitely that sake stood out the most. I don't know what it was with that drink, but it was refreshing and it was delicious. And I don't think that had anything to do with Festival of the Arts. I just think it's a new drink in Japan. Uh, go try it. I also enjoyed that pork bun in China. I was not a fan of the rose water cake custard thing. I really wanted to like it, but after giving it some time, I was not a fan. Now, like I said, the little vanilla custard in the middle was good, but 
it just tastes too perfumey flowers for me if that makes sense but everybody you know everyone's different some people may like it some people will not but everything I had today I mean I did enjoy it I think we did a lot of shopping like showing you guys the merchandise I mean they had all the Baby Yoda merch out they had all the new Festival of the Arts merchandise out and the new Starbucks stuff is out I mean when when and when you guys are watching this is actually my birthday so birthday plus shopping plus eating plus drinking equals to be a good day but anyway if you guys enjoyed today's video please give it a massive thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new here because we do this quite often leave a comment down below let me know what you enjoyed the most here at festival of the arts or if i missed anything because this is part one we still have to do a part two we still have other things to try other things to do other things to see so we'll definitely be back today's comment of the day comes from sosa atw Great video. Me and my wife were annual pass members for the last two years. We haven't renewed yet, but this really made me want to get my passes again. Keep up the great videos. That was a fun day at Universal. Make sure you guys are following me along on Instagram, and I love you guys so very much. And remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Prince Charming. <laughs>